Hello and welcome to a quick update. The pre-patch for 7.0 Legion is out now. I literally just recorded this and I'm voicing over it after the fact. I got into the Paladin class hall. I'll just go ahead and say that now. Uh, you'll see here right now, I accidentally let some low levels in here, uh, much to my surprise. They stun you. There's NPCs inside this order hall that stun you, even if you're a Paladin, because the expansion's not out yet. Uh, so I just figured I'd give this a try and see maybe if I can glide over them. Spoiler alert, they still stun you anyway. But I wanted to see if you can get in here because I heard Blizzard tested this with that pre-launch test that they did in the beta. And they had made it to where you get ported out even if you're a paladin. So I actually couldn't get in. But I did, however, find a way in as a roundabout solution. And I'll go ahead and show you how I did that using, um... The Vry cool Drinking Horn from Archaeology, which you've seen me use before, and a Disconnect Macro, which you've also seen me use before. So right there, I got stunned. Four stuns. <laughs> uh, that's kind of comical. They just kind of trot out and they port, uh, they port you back out, um, which is cool. But there is actually... Um, my thought was like, okay, well, that still exists underneath the sanctuary. So if I could fly or glide into it from underneath the earth, then I'd probably be in a pretty good spot. So there's a crypt that's located right behind Light's Hope Chapel. That's where this is, by the way, if you don't know where the Paladin Class Order Hall is. Um, and I figured out a way or spot where I could park myself right above this torch. You can use the Rykul Drinking Horn right before it's finished casting. You can disconnect and it will put your head through the roof, much like when I did Nyx Ramus, um, or really any other glitch like this. Um, and in doing so, I'm just going to cut ahead once I start logging out, but uh, in doing so, you can actually free range jump into the open abyss. And normally you'll just either hit something below you like I could have hit and I did um, the crypts below. Or you'll just drop into the nothingness. But I uh, went ahead and hit my glider and actually glid myself into the room and you'll see in a minute. And then you'll see I start jumping forward a little bit, hop a little bit, and then you get on top of the wall right there. You'll see it. And then I mouse over about where to jump. There you go. You want to aim for about that area. Uh, I don't recommend doing this because this is probably not good, and you'll see why, because I actually get something out of this. And it's nothing huge or game-breaking, but it's still a thing. I got it. <laughs> um, but I'm, I think I'm waiting for my cooldown. So while I do I'm just going to talk. Um... I glid in there and I actually saw the Dalaran portal for Legion Dalaran. And I was like, oh my God, this could like shut down my account. But I had to click it. And Blizzard was actually very smart about it. Um, if you click it, it won't teleport you. It says you cannot access, the, access this unless you have Legion installed, which I do technically, but they limited it that way. So thank goodness for that because I don't want to die. Um, the FBI hitman will come for me. Um, but they did keep in Erdrick the Pure, which is our order hall rep, our quartermaster. And he sells our piece of order hall gear, all the pieces. They look like a knockoff challenge mode gear, but they're for doing different things in the Broken Isles. Uh, you can't buy any of that, but you can actually talk to him and buy something. At the very end, he has the glyph, uh, I forget what it's actually called. The Divine Tome of Contemplation, which just teaches you that minor glyph that got removed with Legion. Um, but it just, you kneeled down and you had that giant column of light. Edric the Pure still sells that on live. So I was actually able to get in there, swoop it, get it, not in this video because I actually get ported out, but you see me approach him anyway. <laughs> I even went into the beta just so that way you can see what Edric sells, but I went ahead and captured footage of his vendor list from there. So that's what you're seeing now. Uh, just so that way you're not just, oh, man. But I did actually get it in a previous attempt, and uh, I'll show myself using that here. But nothing huge, but I shouldn't have it. So, whoops. <laughs> anyway, if I find more, I'll update it. But I just wanted to put this out because I literally just did this. So, uh, if you want to see any of my other videos, you can check out my WoW playlist because I have all sorts of goofing off videos and uh exploration videos so yeah i do a lot of like this i don't know how or why i ended up finding this but i did so yeah don't do it yeah have fun i guess <laughs> we'll see if i'll make another follow-up video for this so yeah